I'm sure most of you guys read the poster. It's as much as we can, we try to make it self-explanatory. But for those of you guys who don't know him, Dr. Daniel Gabramedhan is an instructor at Harvard Medical School, and uh, he is a physician there. He is also an author. Dr. Daniel Gabramedhan is a public speaker. He did a public speech all over the nation. So you guys feel the most lucky people ever in Ireland at this time to have him, a man of multiple quality, to be here to present you this wonderful public speech. So this is a man of maybe 100 characters, but we give to you all kinds of public speech for you guys free of charge. We are really thankful again. Very quick, uh, let's please uh, give uh, Abraham a, a round of applause. Uh, he is a tireless organizer of the community, and he's brought all of you here today, and as he mentioned, a very short notice. So let's, again, please give a great <laughs> told you who I am. I want to know who you are. So let me get a quick raise of hands to show who here is in junior high school. Raise your hands. Okay. All right. How many of us are here in high school? Very good. How many of us are here in college? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. How many of us here are postgraduate actually have finished college? And uh, actually look into, you know, perhaps think about, you know, perhaps some higher education. Excellent, excellent, very good, very good. So as the poster has said, we're all here to learn how to become successful. You know, we all know that we want to be successful. I don't have to tell you that you want to be successful. Everybody wants to become successful. The question is, how do you do it? Ten years ago, I was sitting in your chair. I'm from San Diego, grew up in this church. I knew that I wanted to become a physician, but I didn't know how to do it. Nobody in my family had ever become a physician. I was the first, the first person in my family to become a physician. All of you are going to become the firsts. You guys are going to become the first physicians, the first lawyers, the first engineers, Perhaps even the first people to ever go to college. All right? And so now the question is, because we don't have this background, how do we do it? Right? So I've, I've been there. You know, he mentioned that you know, I'm a physician. But before I was a physician, I was a high school student. Then I was a college student. Then I was a medical student. Then I was a resident. All right? So there's a path. And what I want to share with you today uh, are the teachings that I learned. You know, we've kind of put together 10 steps. We like to call them the five paths and pitfalls <laughs> to success. The things that you should do and the things that you should be wary of, things that you should avoid. Okay? Excellent. So the first thing, the first path to success is you must have a vision. You must have a dream. How many people here know what they want to become? Very good, a, a great number of you. And, and some of you, how many of us here are not exactly sure what they want to become, but know that they want to become successful? Excellent, very good. If you don't know exactly what you want to do, at least know that you want to become successful, right? Because when you have that purpose, when you have that vision, what it gives you is it gives you grounding. It gives you direction, all right? It's going to take a lot of hard work to become successful. And I know that you all can do it. But it's very important to understand why. Why are you doing all this hard work? You know, when you're up late at night because you have a final to study for or you have a project that is due, why am I you know, working so hard? It's because I want to become a lawyer. It's because I want to become an engineer. It's because I want to become a physician, right? So it's very important to always remember, why are you working so hard? And then once you've decided what you want to become, never let go of it. Never let go of it, no matter what anybody else says. You know, you're in a very comfortable environment here with your family, your friends, and your community who are all very supportive. 
But you may encounter people who are not as supportive and who may tell you that, I don't know if you'll become successful. This was the case for me. In college, I had a counselor and I told the counselor that I was interested uh, in becoming a physician and I wanted to plan my, my, my pre-medical classes. And she said, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to make it into medical school. It's very competitive. You know, maybe, maybe you should think about a different major. Why did she think that? I don't know. But that's what she said. But I didn't listen to her. I didn't listen to her. I, I was very focused on becoming a physician. From a young age, I always knew that I wanted to become a physician. So I worked hard. I did a lot of things that we're going to talk about today. I was focused. I, I prepared very well. And, and I worked really hard. And it was funny because not only did I get into medical school, I got a full scholarship to medical school. Mind you, the counselor was telling me, I don't know if you're going to get into medical school. I got a full scholarship to medical school. All right? And then from there, I went to the Morehouse School of Medicine. From there, I did my residency at a Harvard hospital, at Harvard's premier hospital, the Massachusetts General Hospital. And now, after my residency, I've actually signed on as faculty there. All right? Mind you, can you imagine that when I was many of your ages, they told me, I don't know if you're going to be able to get into medical school. So no matter what, never lose sight of your vision, never lose sight of your goal. Always, always go back to it. And then finally, we're all chasing these dreams. We're chasing these goals. But never lose perspective. Never lose sight of where you have come from. I want to actually point out that right now, we all want to become successful, but you guys are already successful. The fact that you are here today shows that you are committed and you actually want to become successful. You could be anywhere today, yet you're here in this evening to learn how to become better. I'd say that right now you are successful. All right? All of you are successful. Please give yourself a round of applause. And then finally, I want to point out that you guys are very lucky. All right? Why are you lucky? Well, most, if not all of us, come from immigrant families. All right? If our parents did not sacrifice, or if we ourselves did not sacrifice to come to this country, you could be in a third world country where opportunities are not as available. In the United States, if you get an education, you can become anything that you want to become. The opportunities are endless. And you have that opportunity now. So you are very lucky. It's, it's your opportunity. It's your time to actually seize that opportunity and turn it into real success. So I want you guys to understand that, that although we're chasing, we're chasing these goals, you guys are already successful. You guys are already doing a great job. And you guys are very lucky. You guys are very fortunate. So don't, don't forget the second okay? path to success is that you have to have a plan. You have to have a plan. And in this sense, you have to get an education. How many people here know who Abraham Lincoln is? All right. Abraham Lincoln, 16th president of the United States, arguably one of the most successful presidents. Uh, he freed the slaves, and he also won the Civil War. What did he say about education? He said that, I don't know that there is a more important activity that one person can engage in other than education. Do you guys know the story of Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln was born in a log cabin in Kentucky. His parents were uneducated. He himself only had one year of education. His parents made him work. That's what you did in the forest in Kentucky. But he knew that education was so important, so he himself became educated. He was self-educated. He wanted to become a lawyer, so he bought law books and read law books, took the exam, and became a lawyer on his own. All right? And then you know, after several years of hard work, he became president. Mind you, somebody who was born in a log cabin becoming president of the United States. Education is the way that you can become great. Education can open doors. Like I said, many of us come from immigrant families.